When you look in the mirror and you see your skin color, what color do you see? As education changes, we're changing too. We're progressive. We're trying to do whatever we can to personalize and meet the needs of our students. When I think of personalized learning, it's letting each and every child know that they have worth and that they have value and getting to know them on a deep personal level. Good, okay, so we're gonna start with Killian. And once you know them personally, then you personalize their learning. You're gonna pick your three favorite that you like. Teaching with a diverse student population, you have to differentiate how you work with kids. And you have to be authentic and you have to meet kids where they're at. It's not me just saying, here, I have all the knowledge. I'm going to share it with you and you need to take it in. Is there a way you could do this so that they all have the same amount of force? It's more of me trying to pull the knowledge out of them. So I look at what are the, the things that they're interested in and in learning about, but also their learning styles and how do they like to learn. Some of them learn really well. Um, in a small group with a teacher right there one-on-one. -on -one. What a good connection. Some of them work well with a partner. I think a lot of it comes in choice and voice within our students, offering them opportunities to demonstrate how they know what they know, and then also putting them in charge of their own learning pathways. Through student choice, they're able to choose something that they feel really comfortable in, and when they feel comfortable, they are confident, they participate. What do we think? I'm using more of an inquiry approach with children, which they find much more interesting and fun because they're being led by their interests. There you go. They become more invested in what they're learning because they know why they're learning it and what they need to learn. Also, students are creating and writing their own goals, their own learning goals. It's them actually coming up with trying to figure out where they're at in their learning and then writing their own goals. I am able to give them, you know, feedback to let them know where they are in their learning as well. They're becoming motivated learners. They're the ones now in charge of their own learning and I think that's a, a hugely powerful tool. When you go to a workplace it's not I'm gonna do this piece of my job for this amount of time, this piece of my job for that amount of time, but how can we innovate and bring all these different subject areas together to best meet the needs of the students so they see how this is going to impact their future and how important it is. Oftentimes I will get kids at like the end of a lesson saying I wish we didn't have to stop. That's how I know that I've been successful. They're asking to learn more.